Good evening. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the sea. Uh, I've got the uh, live Deerfield cam up there. Looks like we've got some Bermuda Chubs, uh, a Sergeant Major, and look downs over there. Just kind of floating around out there. Water clarity is kind of uh, iffy, but uh, you know, it is what it is, and it's still a beautiful day. Well, this uh, video is brought to you by the Crimex family, the CME group, the world's largest and leading mo biggest crook out there when it comes to running uh, precious metal markets. Uh, of course, this is my opinion and the opinion of people that are much smarter than me. But uh, man, what a what a kick in the ass in today's uh, uh, precious metals prices. Just to add to everything, I'm telling you, folks, these markets are being spoofed in the evenings. Um, this this bl this manipulation is so freaking in your face I'm just so sick of talking about it as well uh, but you know you can't stop talking about it because it, it's even more and more blatant uh, unfortunately uh, we're, we, we've seen the $23 level mid $23 level in silver uh, we were sitting at 2750 not too long ago and you know anybody that doesn't understand this market doesn't understand how manipulated the silver market is and I'm going to show you right who does it it's these crooks the CME group who allows these big commercial short positions to go in and uh, spoof these markets in the evening. Again, I believe these markets are being spoofed in the evening. evening. I mean, you, there, you could say possibly that uh, uh, Chinese, the Chinese uh, economy is having big issues right now in their stocks and their bonds and their markets. Perhaps they're selling silver and gold in the overnight markets, but I don't believe that's happening. Um, <clears throat> I believe that this is just pure and simple manipulative monkey hammering uh, the shit that we've seen going on for years again so blatant and in our faces uh, and it's run by the CME group uh, <clears throat> gosh it's like a broken record talking about these crooks over and over and over I'm so sick of it I just like to talk about something else about the, well anyways uh, but of course the game is rigged don't let that stop you if you don't play you can't win that's a fact and uh, I've explained this so many times to friends and, and customers and they said, well, you know, if it's manipulated, you know, uh, 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 you know, why do you, you know, you know, when is it going to stop? At, at some point, well, you got to ask yourself, how, you know, when is it going to stop? That's the big question. Ted Butler has been talking about this for years and years and years uh, about how manipulated these markets have been. And uh, uh, at some point, I just think that they're going to have to have physical silver uh, to back a lot of this stuff that's going on. We, we're going to need it for industry. And uh, with, with the mines being closed for a certain amount of years and silver getting more expensive to mine uh, and the prices just staying low, it's one of the few commodities out there that just hasn't gone up in value. Uh, somehow that's going to bite these manipulators in the ass. But meanwhile, the paper price is just freaking hammered, man. Take a look at this. Like 20, let's take a look at the markets right now. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me one second here. We're going to look at the low and the high. Uh, they brought it back down. Look, 23.44 is the low that I'm looking at right now. 24.19, the high. That would have probably been last night and currently sitting at 23.64. The market is closed, opens in another 45 minutes, the uh, overnight markets. Kind of curious what happens tonight, but you know what? I don't care. I know these prices right here are bullshit. I know that's a bullshit price and that's a bullshit price run by a bunch of fucking crooks. Excuse me, I said it. There's your first F word of the night at Comex, the CME group allowing this to happen. And let's take a look at, uh, right here, I'm going to do the highs and lows real quick. Uh, again, 23.44, the low on silver, 24.19. So they did bring it back to that. And that $23, they bring, bring it back to the $23 level here. And that $23 level is an important level, folks. My understanding is that that's a level that Bank of America needs to be at or close to it, not to lose a fortune on that large derivative uh, position they've got open with uh, JP Morgan. And uh, uh, that $23 level allows the short positions to exit uh, a little bit easier, but are they going to exit? Are these short positions going to keep doing this on the comics market until it just completely freaking breaks and one of these companies goes bankrupt big time? Um, <clears throat> all right, I digress. We talk about this all the time, and geez, wouldn't there be something nice to talk about, nicer to talk about than these? All right, I, I, I almost said it. All right, uh, 900 the low in uh, platinum. Take a look at that, 932. That just makes no sense to me either. Platinum is definitely a buy, in my opinion. Uh, I'd stack up on platinum for sure, silver for sure, and then gold. You know, in the grand scheme of things, gold is not doing that badly. In fact, let's take a look at the uh, 
uh, gold to silver ratio. I'm going to use Siri here. Let's see if it actually works. Ready? 1,898.57 divided by 23.64 equals 80 to 1, 80.31. So it looks like that gold to silver ratio is up quite a bit more. Uh, <clears throat> so I think that there's a couple things that are going to happen here. I can't see silver dropping much below this level right here, but you never know. You Again, these crooks, these, these, these uh, big commercial collusive manipulative short positions, and I, I'm just saying it because I believe it's absolutely true, uh, uh, have, have monkey hammered, manipulated the silver market down so badly at this uh, $23 level. Uh, this market's broken, man, I'm telling you. I'm going to just say it. Uh, Comex has allowed uh, uh, silver, uh, this, you know, the price of silver just to be broken. I mean, they're not trusted. You can't trust them. Their credibility is pretty much zero at this point with, with uh, you know, millions and millions of people worldwide. I'm not the only one that believes this and knows this stuff right here. Uh, <clears throat> however, the, the, the real problem is, is that, you know, COMEX, uh, uh, um, um, in the, <sighs> listen, if, you, if you're a small percentage of people out there that actually know how, how the, these markets are manipulated and how badly and how criminal it really is and how in our faces it is, that's just a small amount of people. The vast majority of Americans out there, Europeans, people worldwide, are totally effing clueless when it comes to this stuff. You know, they get all their news on CNN, MSNBC. Uh, they read some Bloomberg bullshit. They read some Wall Street Journal bullshit, uh, which really never discusses the manipulation of the commodities markets, particularly the silver market. So, um, you know, it's such a small percentage of us out there still, even though we're in the millions right now. But, you know, 20 years ago, it might have been, you know, tens of thousands of people that uh, understood how crooked COMEX is and how crooked the CME group is and how crooked the CFTC is, uh, who's the government uh, or, or, or regulators for these groups. Uh, they're fucking worthless, man. These markets are so highly manipulated by large banks. You know, we know the silver market is. It's factual. I mean, the 10% of the population or 5% of the population, and maybe I'm overestimating that, understands how crooked these people are. But, uh, uh, <clears throat> wow, it'd be nice to talk about something a little bit more positive at some point. Uh, and for those of you that hear that large fan in the background, man, one of my air conditions blew out here. And as you know, this is like 80 plus degrees. Uh, but you know what? I'm used to it. I, I'm down to my shorts right now, my underwear. <laughs> my underwear, my shorts. Actually, my underwear. Yeah, I'm sitting in my office with my underwear, my shorts, and my uh, T-shirt right here. Uh, actually, I do go to work in my underwear. I'm sorry. Uh, that's a good reason to come here. But <laughs> all right, before I get a little loopy here, let me uh, uh, go in. Let's take a look at the... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, the overnight markets where this monkey hammer had occurred. I think I did a uh, uh, refresh. There we go. Uh, where's Sunday night's market? Take a look at this. Sunday night market. Who sells large amounts of silver in, in, in the off market hours, in the middle of the night, in the evening? Take a look at this. Uh, there's a close from uh, last week. There's Sunday right there, the opening. Uh, and as you can see, I mean gold, I'm sorry. And gold starts different now in the 1920 uh, market. But before New York even opens in the wee hours in the morning, take a look at the price of gold. Who the frick sells gold in these markets right here, these overnight markets? I tell you who. It's the criminals in the New York Lobex market, which is owned by uh, uh, Crimex and Nymex people. Uh, and again, it, it's spoofing. It's got to be spoofing, folks, because there's big demand in gold out there. There's big demand in silver. There's demand in platinum, I think, out there as well. Uh, but I can speak for gold and silver for sure. In the industry demand, investment demand, uh, and the premiums are rising, yet the prices are falling. This is just pure frickin' manipulation by uh, big commercial banks. Uh, and, and again, has nothing to do with reality. It's just got to do with greedy motherfuckers, and that's the truth. I'm sorry I said it. For you people that are a little bit sensitive, I'm a tough show to listen to sometimes. Uh, but you know what? I am what I am, as Popeye would say. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the uh, price of silver. Even more dismal when you look at how badly they monkey hammered these prices. But again, $23 a key mark for them. Folks, and I got to tell you, if they're going to play this game, keep, while they're playing the paper game, keep taking the freaking real stuff away from them. Just keep taking it away from them. Buy it. 
I don't want to tell you to, what to do or, or how to do it. But again, I'm not an investment advisor, and I know that I, I need to say that for a couple different reasons. But you got to make your own decisions as big girls and big boys and big whatevers. <laughs> and uh, understand that uh, uh, these markets are highly manipulated. And I've told friends and, and family, I, told, I was beginning to say at the, uh, the very beginning of the show, is uh, um, of course these markets manipulated, but if you don't play, you can't win. And you know, part of being a good player in a card game, <clears throat> my understanding, besides money management, uh, part of being a good card player is understanding, you know, there was a saying in one of the movies, they're saying if you don't know who the sucker is at the table, you, it's likely yourself. Uh, uh, but uh, and that's true to some degree with the silver and gold markets and in every other market if you don't know who the players are in the market that you're in uh, and in the silver market we know who the players are they're big manipulative uh, 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 collusive banks that are uh, uh, just driving the price down simply for no other reason than to uh, profit from that uh, 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 trade so <clears throat> and they're not speculating or anything like that. So really, it, 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 for all intents and purposes, it, it's highly illegal in my opinion. But again, nothing is done about this stuff. So what do we do meanwhile? Well, it's, it's stuck in our faces. Well, keep stacking the real stuff, folks. Why they're stacking the paper and they're, they're screwing this market up, uh, keep stacking the real stuff because that real stuff is going to come into big demand at some point. You're already seeing it in the form of premiums, what you can get for it. But you know what? Even though premiums are big in silver right now, don't sell into this market, man. That's my opinion. Uh, so take a look at this right here. Drifting in, $24 market, and all of a sudden, look, right in the middle of the night, look, and here you go, New York Crimex markets. Again, folks, I'm telling you, I believe these markets are being spoofed in the evening. I believe that there's a lot of uh, illegal, manipulative behavior going on in the uh, New York Comex, Nymex, Globex. Uh, let's just call them the Crimex markets altogether, and uh, <clears throat> nothing gets done about this. You know, uh, we're living in an age of lies and bullshit. I mean, it's true, man. I'm sorry to say it. I, gosh, it just makes me sad to even say that, but we all know it. And you know what? Stack real shit, man. Stack the gold, stack the gold, stack the silver. Uh, um, you know, save up some food. I, God, I sound like a... But, you know... I wouldn't trust these people. I don't trust these people in Washington, D.C., and I don't trust the people that are the economic leaders or the political leaders of our world. I don't trust them anymore. And you know what? There's a good reason not to trust these bastards, all right? And a good way to do that is just prepare, think for yourself, be a critical thinker, independent thinker, and uh, stack up on the things that you need. You know what I mean? Stack up on the things that have lived throughout centuries, have lived through all this bullshit, which is gold, silver, and uh, whatever products out there. Some of you like ammo. Some of you like food. I'd suggest stacking all of it, ammo, food, gold, silver, you name it. Um, well, anyways, let me move along from here. And uh, uh, and not ammo for any other reason than uh, uh, it's going to be harder to get some, at some point. Uh, Dow Jones it was down substantially today, but this is such a bullshit market too, manipulated market. Uh, it, it, you know what? It was down substantially this morning. All of a sudden, it's magically up. What are any great reasons to buy stock other than maybe Twitter today? Because it eh, looks like Elon ended up uh, buying Twitter. Um, <laughs> well, anyway, we'll get into that in a little bit here. But take a look at this market right here, up a little bit. For, for what reason? I don't know. Not, no good reasons that I can think about. And, uh, oh, boy, man. Let's take a look at uh, what else. Well, we'll get into some other stuff here real quick. But... Uh, uh, as far as premiums go on different products, as you know, um, uh, as you know, uh, we advertise to be JM bullion, uh, SD bullion, uh, Atmex bullion, and I use JM mostly because they have a pretty cool website, and uh, they're the 800-pound gorilla out there. The best deals out there, folks, I can go into each product and every one of these products out here, but the best deal out there is still uh, generic 100-ounce uh, bars, 10-ounce uh, bars, one ounce are getting a little bit tougher to find. Uh, Eagles are just absolutely stupid price. Stay away from them. If, you know, definitely stay away from silver eagles at these prices. Maples are the same. Uh, British silver coins, all this stuff. Try to just buy the uh, 100 ounce bars and kilos. And by the way, uh, my back is a little bit sore. And <laughs> carrying 900 pounds of silver today, the uh, guy dropped off 900 pounds of silver uh, for an order that we had, a couple orders we had, and some store stock that we needed. But uh, um, 900 ounces of uh, kilo bars, which I carried myself back and forth. Twice I picked these 
bastards up. <laughs> oh, so my lower back is killing me right now. Sorry, I didn't mean to mention that, but I have a great deal on Kilo Bars, uh, uh, and I can beat the prices of JMSD uh, Atmex on that. The prices of Kilo Bars. Also, uh, I have uh, good. I have great prices on 100 ounce bars, and one ounce and 10 ounces, where I can beat them. But uh, uh, you know, I and I can beat them with the Silver Eagles and Maples and those things too, folks. But those products are too pricey. I, I avoid them a, a, as much as possible and uh, just stick with the more generic products if you can. Uh, as far as gold, um, man, same thing I would say, just stick with the bars where possible. I think we're still at spot plus 78 bucks or something like that for small quantities and gold bars. I believe that uh, Atmex uh, uh, JM is, is even more. Uh, American Eagles I think are up into that 120, 130 range. Uh, although I got a good deal on them as well, I can beat Atmex, JM, and SD on that too. Uh, and listen, if you don't live in South Florida, one of the, a lot of the folks listen to me all over the United States and different areas and stuff. Um, I can't ship stuff, so unfortunately if you call me, I'm unable to kind of do uh, mail order business. I just do uh, brick and mortar uh, business with local people. If you live in South Florida, you're great. If not, I, I highly recommend you find a good local dealer. It's not because JM Bullion is a bad company. I like JM Bullion. Uh, uh, I just use them because they're the uh, big corporate 800-pound uh, gorilla out there, and I can beat their prices, and so should your local dealer be able to do that. Well, with that said, let's move into what's on GATA.org. Not that much, but I find this interesting. Russian ruble nears two-year highs versus euro. Hmm, go figure, folks. And uh, you know what? I, I want to kind of just get over this video tonight, so I'm not going to go into, God, everything is about... Russia, Russia, Russia. Remember Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. It's all about Marsha. That's what it seems like lately. Russia, Russia, Russia. But no less, uh, uh, this is BS. You know why this is BS? Because I honestly think they achieved their goals, which was taking the eastern half of that country and the southern half, which they already own. You know, if you take a look at battle maps, basically, they, they own it. Uh, uh, the Ruskies own the uh, uh, eastern half and the uh, southern half of uh, uh, that country right now, and it's not going back to Ukraine probably ever again, uh, but that's not what they're talking about. I don't think the intent ever was to uh, uh, take Kiev. That was just some kind of blockade Kiev, but no, let's, let's not go into that. I'm just tired of talking about that shit as well. Uh, hey, it looks like Elon bought Twitter. That's kind of interesting. Maybe that's good for free speech out there. Let's see what, ha what happens with that when he gets involved with that. And uh, you know what? Not too many articles in precious metals. You know why? How many times can you talk about uh, these crooks? How many times can you talk about uh, them allowing the big commercial shorts to do what they did in precious metals this last two weeks? Uh, but no less, this too shall pass, folks. Uh, we will uh, uh, once, you know, again, provides you a great opportunity to buy at lower levels. For those of you who are waiting for gold to go up and silver to go up, relax, it will. I mean, you know, listen, you, what's my proof? What's my absolute proof that gold, silver, and platinum will go up? It's history, folks. All you gotta do is take a look at the graph here. And let's go just take a look at that. Uh, well, that's not a graph. That's, well, there's some more proof that the uh, price of gold and silver is gonna continue to climb the failure of the purchasing of the dollar and all other currencies across the world. Uh, but let's take a look at the chart. And uh, what is this? My 100-year historical chart. I'm going to go, here's your proof that gold and silver is going to just continue to climb. <clears throat> look, you've had your low and your high moments. And as I said, watch my cursor here. Uh, well, here, let me get my cursor somewhere else. Ready? This is what the price of gold and silver looks like over time. Ready? Watch, watch my cursor. Up, down, up, down. Overall, the market is in the upward trend. If we were to stretch this chart out a little bit longer, and I'm not even sure we can do that. Hang on, here I am just messing the chart up. Uh, let's see, what is the uh, longest term we can look at gold? All years, let's see what all years looks like. Uh, well, it doesn't go back that far. It goes back to 1915, but take a look at the price of gold and silver. Take a look at the value of the uh, decline of the uh, purchasing power of the U.S. dollar, which continues to decline. Take a look at my cursor. This is what the U.S. dollar does since 1915. And uh, if you take a look at the price of gold and silver, overall, that's what it does. It keeps continuing to going up. History, man. History is on our side, folks. We've got data and history on our side. So gold and silver is a great place to be. Um, my gosh, my mic actually just 
fell out of my shirt. It was sitting on my lap here, so hope you can still hear me. <laughs> uh, hey, I forgot to flip the coin too as well. Quick flip and a spin. Oh, I know. It's a bull. It's always a bull. That coin likes bulls. All right. So let me move along from here and uh, uh, again, as I said, just buy the cheapest generic products that you can out there. That's the best deals. Uh, let's move along from the political stuff, the economic stuff, and move into uh, yesterday's video. Let's see if there's any questions. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video um, and all the people that uh, comment down here. And let's see here. I'm going to just kind of blow that up a little bit. See if I can uh, answer any questions here. Uh, thank you, James. I appreciate that. You bought some silver and uh, Y axis. Give me one second here and I'll kind of roll down here. Uh, I'm seeing if there's any questions. Sorry I didn't get to it, but I just been busy as hell all day. Didn't get a chance to really read every comment out here, uh, which I normally do. Like I said, I read a lot of the comments. Uh, hey, make sure you come by when you're vacation in Pompano Beach this January. Oh, you did come by. I mean, walk into your shop. Okay, thanks, man. I appreciate that. And glad you get some constitutional silver. Um, uh, my local dealers has come back. <laughs> charge the same. I, he charged, he, oh gosh, let me get to that. You know what? That's okay, Gomer's 44. My local dealer may be a scumbag. Maybe he's a grumpy old man and nasty guy and not very nice. But I tell you what. Uh, if he charges the same in, as online, that's not bad. I, I mean, there's oftentimes it's hard to beat uh, JM Bullion. It's hard to beat some of those online guys. Remember, they don't have the ex same expenses, and well, they got big expenses, but um, uh, it's hard to beat those guys sometime. And uh, if your online, if your local dealer is actually charging the same, uh, that's not such a bad deal, sir. Uh, I, I, I would say I'd reconsider your thoughts on that. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate that. I hope my comment helped there. And uh, I still like platinum. I buy gold and silver, but I think platinum has the most upside. I think you're right at this point. Actually, silver, I think, has great upside as well. Uh, but silver and platinum seem to be really, really cheap. Uh, again, thanks for the comment, Jim C. It goes on and on. I know. I feel the same way, John. But this too shall pass. And uh, uh, keep stacking the real stuff at cheaper prices if you can. Again, that's my opinion. Uh, thank you. Two years. Yeah, two-year anniversary since our first show. All right. Well, I think I'm going to close it up at that with uh, uh, my uh, theme for the year, which is think for yourself, question authority. I've said it so many times. Don't need to say it again. Explain this. And uh, here you go. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions and you live in South Florida, call me at 954-493-8811. If you live outside my area, I, I recommend that you find a good local dealer. And if you've got any questions you want to ask me directly, put it in the comments section. Uh, I do read the comments section. If there's any questions there, I do try my best to answer them. Hey, thanks for watching. Have yourself a good day, and uh, let's see what happens tomorrow. Bye now.